Well, speaking of uh, more than what someone says, just when you thought that cheating scandal involving relationship influencers, so-called or whatever, Derek Jackson with the X at the end in the end, which is ridiculous, uh, was coming to an end. Another mistress popped up. The latest mistress spoke to blogger Tasha Kay and I heard the interview and she sounds very credible. She said she had sex with Jackson last week and she was also claiming she's pregnant by this man. Take a listen to what she said about the alleged affair. Early December, I found out I was pregnant. Um, I told him, you know, off top, I don't want any children right yeah. now. What's on the 18th? The 18th of March. The last week, yeah. So she's pregnant right now? Oh, he's really going to be over there now. Well, she said she found out oh, November yeah. December she didn't want to have no children. So I'm assuming oh, right. she terminated. I'm no, assuming she, she terminated. She terminated. I, I listened to that interview. She said she terminated the. She terminated the. She had terminated the pregnancy. Well, how do y'all feel about the wife standing by his side and the weird thing she's saying about the 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 bonnet being a sh the shirt being a hey, shield? Let me say something. She was built for this. She was up there dressed like a no limit soldier, baby. That lady was ready to go to war. <laughs> said spiritual <laughs> warfare this is you see a bonnet i see a hat of salvation you see a shirt i did not come here to dress up i came here to fight spiritual warfare now somebody told me in my comments and i don't know if it's true but they say that she goes to that cult church where that man was spraying holy water on people's private parts talking about uh exercising the demon of of uh promiscuity from them or whatever the case may be there is something extremely off with this girl. A lot of people are saying that she has been brainwashed and broken by Derek. Um, she definitely gives me a very David Koresh, Waco, Texas mm -hmm. vibe. She gives me a very Scientologist vibe. She gives me very much, you know, we're going to do a mass suicide vibe. Jim something Jones, is, drink the Kool-Aid. You know, something is just very off with this girl but i'm gonna tell you one thing about Derek jackson for me it's the hypocrisy for me <clears throat> it'd be one thing if these were stories that were coming up prior to you becoming the relationship guru but it's been proven that you were making some of these videos dog and cheating men sitting in front of your mistress's house like some of the women have come forward and said that's my front porch in the back of this video that's my mailbox in the back of this video you just got big nerve and it's like overnight, this man has completely ruined his brand and his credibility. And to all of those out there that say the messenger don't change the message to hell you say, the messenger do change the damn message, okay? Because he was supposed to be the damn good guy. And what he showed us is the good guy don't exist. Damn what he and what he's also showing us is he's 1000% a narcissist that feels like he has some kind of power because some of the things he says does make sense. If you didn't know the way he was living, he had all these women open, listening to him, breaking up with their men because they're listening to the words of Derek Jackson with the X at the end. And it, I think it gave him great power to feel like he had so much influence. And look how he has its power over this woman. She, like you said, Q, she was 1000% brainwashed. The, her speaking points, the what you, how she was saying, I, I, I said it on the other show. I, they would give me very much Lester vibes with remember the, the ventriloquist. Like it just, it, it's like I she was just saying as, what he yeah. wanted her to say. And it was sad. Quiet as you okay. can. If you go through her Instagram, she's giving me very much a lesbian T. I'm so, uh, I'm such a lesbian that I'm clinging to the Lord. On one of them pictures, she had on a three piece Steve Harvey suit dressed like one of the temptations in my mind. <laughs> I want you to be free. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if about you. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I, I, I enjoyed. <laughs> I enjoyed. <In> my mind. <laughs> I enjoyed her in the interview. I really Christ, <laughs> the Savior was born. <laughs> First, he said, "A no limit soldier." <laughs> Boy, you need help. But no, seriously, I really. I, you know, I really felt like it was just so unfortunate with that bonnet. And then I, you know, the comments about did you she know who made her wear that bonnet? They're Christ, the <laughs> savior was born. <laughs> you remember I read somewhere on Instagram somebody was started a, a GoFundMe for to get her a bra. That was really funny, but I really thought that she had very beautiful breasts. You know who's gonna give her a bra? Christ! <laughs> The savior was born. 
But anyway, I do want to say this though, Claudia, though, or, or, or a serious note, because Q is off the chain tonight. <laughs> we can't. Right. Should we be serious? Yeah. I really wish that people would. Christ! Q. The Savior <laughs> was born in my mind. She was dressed like one of the temptations. I want her to be. I, 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 Claudia, I want to go on the record for saying I'm going to take up for her. I think people need to leave her alone and stop attacking her for the decision that she's made to support her husband, whether it's a cult like figure or not. She's decided to step into that lion's den and support her man the best she can. I think leave her out of your critical comments because she just decided to support her man. Her man is the liar. Her man is the deceitful one. Her man is the one that has, that is the, is the fraud. It's not her okay and you so, know who may you know who may al say that okay. <laughs> welcome back to tgif sponsored by christ <laughs> the savior is born <laughs> al you were saying about um Derek this, jackson this, and his wife in the bonnet all i'm saying is please give her please 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 Give her a break. That's a lot for a woman who has intentionally not been in the media's eye to all of a sudden be thrust into it and have to read nothing but negative stuff about yourself. That's very, very, very hurtful. And it could be like very damaging. The only thing I do want to say to Jerry Jackson is the step number one in the rule when it comes to being caught in a lie is the avoid extending the lie. Call me, brother, and I'll help you dig out of this problem. But number one, avoid extending the lie because the deeper you dig your lying deceitful hole, the further your lying ass will have to climb out of it. And you're in way too deep. So if you want to save your TD Jakes deal, if you want to save your book deal, and if you want to save your series of tours being anybody's motivator, anything, then you need to call me. Well, if he doesn't call you, he needs to call. Christ! <laughs> the Savior <laughs> is the bone. He's a okay. no soldier. I thought I told you no limits. <laughs> <laughs> this man right. I thought I told you. I can't. 